Well, hi you guys. Welcome back to another episode of Eek Acres. In this episode here, I am doing a product review for an air compressor, and this is by Hodo. And it's a digital lithium-ion battery powered air compressor that does not need any external power, so you can take this anywhere and use it anywhere, which is really nice. Here on the back, um, you can pause the video to read this information right here. It's called the Hodo Air Pump Pro. It gives the model, the size, the weight, charging temperature, so on and so forth, how long it takes to charge it, which is uh, three hours. And it also gives here the, uh, let's see, where did I see it? Storage temperature up to 45 degrees Celsius. Now converted into Fahrenheit, I wrote the information here on the side of the box with a magic marker. Uh, 45 degrees Celsius equates to 113 degrees Fahrenheit. That is the max that this unit can tolerate. Well, a car in the summertime gets between 160 to 170 degrees in the summer heat. If a vehicle is sitting out in a driveway in the summer sun with the windows rolled up, this is why children and animals die in vehicles if they're left unattended because it gets to these extreme temperatures. So if this thing can only go to this temp and a vehicle gets to these extreme temperatures and a lot of lithium batteries, the cutoff is at 149, both 149 and 113 is below what these temps right here are. So when people do reviews of stuff like this on their YouTube channel, I have never ever heard anybody talk about that in a, a product review. So that's why I'm putting it in my video to where if someone wanted to buy this unit, uh, do not keep it in your car unattended in the summertime because it could burst into flames and you could be out a lot of money and your vehicle. Other than that, I watched other reviews on this product and everybody loved it, said it worked great. So I'm going to put it to a test and, and see uh, how it does. This is how it comes in the box. Just like this. You get the Hodo Air Pump Pro um, Operator's Manual and it has all the information in here on what you need to know on this unit, how to operate it, so on and so forth. So, let's take a look at the unit itself here. Get it out of the box. I like that it's all self-contained and that it runs on a lithium ion battery. It's got a 2500 milliamp battery built into this unit. It does have rubber feet and it also has um, a rubber back on it. So when you set it on a surface, it won't slide around. And also it's got a screen protector here that you can peel off because the screen is nice and glossy and it's all digital so you can uh, read everything. And on the screen protector, it tells you here what all the operation is. And what's nice about this is that you can dial it to the PSI that you want. And then when you turn it on and it starts to inflate your tire, once it reaches the number that you dial it into, it automatically shuts the unit off so it does not overinflate anything that it is connected to. On the side here also, you get a choice of three different types of output. I do not know what uh, BAR is or keep, uh, KPA, but there's PSI in the middle and that's all I would be using this for in this country is uh, PSI for inflating a tire or an air mattress or something like that. So, uh, yeah, and it's really a nice unit. It's not very big. It's not very heavy. It's got a built-in flashlight to where you can uh, turn that on. And that would be equivalent to like the, the low setting on a lithium flashlight. It's just a low setting, not very bright, but gives off enough light to uh, illuminate um, the job that you're doing. So here you just, uh, it says long press to turn it on and off. There you can see where you can set your PSI to whatever you want. Um, like the tires on my vehicle are at 44 pounds per tire. So that's what I would set it at. And if you go through the different uh, modes here, I'll peel this off so you can see it better. See, it's got a nice clear screen. You can set it to automobile, press it again. It goes to bicycle. You set it to according to what kind of uh, tire you're going to inflate then there's a scooter there's a, a basketball and then there's just general so then when you go back to car that's for pumping up a car tire so 
like I said, I would set it at 44 and then I would activate it by pushing the large button because this dial here that sets the PSI, when you push on that, that's what starts the machine to start inflating. The light only works when the unit is on. You just give it a press here and you can see that it gives off enough light, but it's not extremely bright, but that's okay because uh, chances are you won't be using this in the dark anyway. So we'll turn this back off. We'll long press it to turn it back off. And we'll see what else comes in the box. Okay, and this part of the box is a nice carrying bag. And this one feels really nice, you guys. It's like a rubberized vinyl. And it's also got the interior pocket here to put in the accessories that I will show you here in a second. And it's got the drawstring at the top. This is the carrying bag to put your unit into when it's not in use. Now this unit is the new and improved unit. Um, the older model that they had, this dial used to be here on the side. They moved it to the front and they also included a much longer inflating hose than what came with the original model. People spoke out and said they wanted a longer hose and that's what Hodo has done now. So this part here just screws to the top right here just by turning the whole thing. Get it nice and snug down tight. And then here is the end to put on your valve stem of your uh, bicycle or car tire or whatever you're pumping up. And then also in the bag, you get the USB-C cable right there for charging the unit. It's located right here below your PSI selector to plug it in to charge it. And then here inside this little baggie, you get the different uh, adapters for inflating like an air mattress, a basketball, um, a raft, that kind of thing. So you get three extra accessories with it. So now we will take this out to the pole barn where there is no power and we will see if it will inflate a tire on my utility trailer that is a 15 inch car wheel. And we will see if this will inflate the tire back up to its maximum pressure and how long that takes. And I'll demonstrate that in a video. Okay, you guys, I'm out here in the pole barn. There is no electricity out here, so that's what makes this uh, Hodo air pump pretty cool is that it runs off its own power. No electric needed. Don't need to plug it into a cigarette lighter of your vehicle. It just runs on its own 2,500 milliamp battery. So I'm going to go over there and uh, get my utility trailer and bring it over here. I got my tire gauge. I'm going to purposely... Uh, make the tire go flat. I got brand new tires on that trailer and I'm going to let one of them go flat, not all the way flat because I don't want the bead to come off the rim, but flat enough to where I'm going to see if this will pump it back up to its uh, maximum PSI. You gotta pop the hub cap off because the valve stem is too short. Now I'm gonna let some air out of this tire and uh, take it down almost flat. Okay, you guys, I let out so much air that it's not even registering on my. Uh, Tire gauge. Put this on the valve stem. We will turn it on. And I'm gonna set it to automobile. As you can see right there is the automobile icon. And this tire calls for 65 PSI. But this doesn't even go up to 65. 51 looks like is the max. So let us go. Ok, 
Okay, as you guys can see, as soon as it hit 51, it shut off. So it does as advertised. So this tire goes to 65 PSI. So if I were to set it to just manual, now I should be able to go up as high as I want. See there? So I can go up to 65 PSI, but I'm gonna set it at 64 and then uh, we will let it continue to run. Okay, it shut off at 59. It appears that either the battery went dead at 59 or it just malfunctioned. I don't know. I'm going to have to take it in and plug it in. But it did not, on manual, it did not reach uh, my total PSI that I needed of 64 because these tires can handle 65. So let me check it with the tire gauge. You can see there that this doesn't even go past 50. So I'm right about 61, 62 PSI. So this did not pump my tire up to the maximum pressure even on uh, just manual. And it won't turn on. So did one tire inflate drain the entire 2500 milliamp battery? I don't know. I got to take it in the house, plug it in, and see what it's, the indicator says when I plug it in. Okay, you guys, I'm back in the house. I'm plugging it in. And as you can see, that's what the problem was, is it killed the battery just inflating the tire. So now it's charging. And uh, once it charges up, it'll be able to turn back on. But to inflate a tire that goes as high as 65 uh, PSI um, from almost flat, uh, it won't be able to handle it without being recharged and trying again. So that is disappointing. But uh, you can see in this video, that's exactly what happened. But at least it wasn't the unit that failed. It was just it drained the battery all, all the way down. So my tire on my trailer is currently at 59 PSI and it needs to be at 65 maximum. I always like to stay about a pound under. So I was trying to pump it to 64, but the battery died at 59. So you guys can decide what you think of this. I like the fact that it, it runs on its own power to where if you had a tractor that was out in the field and it needed air, at least enough to get it back to the barn. You could literally take this because it's portable and go out to the field to pump up a tractor tire. But uh, I don't know if it's gonna really do it because like I said, it uh, the battery just didn't last on that first inflate. But with a car tire, being that most car tires typically are not over 44 PSI, it definitely would, would meet the 44 PSI maximum pressure on one charge. So you guys think about, is that worth it to you? Is it not? But uh, I'd say it would pump up a tire on one charge, but anything over 44 PSI, if you've got a large truck tire, a large trailer tire, um, it's not going to do it on one charge. So there you guys go. I'll leave the link down below. You can read more about it. Um, these products are also, uh, all HODO products are available at your local Target. They do have these in uh, the Target retail store to where you can buy them in person or you can buy them online. And uh, so there's my honest review, you guys. But being that it didn't do a complete tire inflate on a utility trailer, uh, I'd have to say that it's not something that I would carry. And because it can't handle extreme temperatures that cars can reach in the summertime, I would never carry this in my vehicle because it could start a fire and burn my vehicle down. So... There you guys go. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.